हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट्स अकीफर्स कॉमर्स क्लासेस सो इन टूडे सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू ऑल द टॉप मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव एम सी क्यूज ऑन डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म नाउ आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज दिस इज अ हाईली रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज एज दर एग्जाम्स आर अप्रोचिंग and they have this particular topic into their portion so they will have mcqs on the topic dissolution therefore i thought of making a video on this so that it can benefit them for their exams okay so in this video i will be covering 25 mcqs so let's begin the first question is on dissolution the goodwill account is transferred to and four options are given capital account of partners credit side of cash account debit side of revolution account and credit side of realization account so students we should know that goodwill is an asset okay and when it is realized see when it is the company or when the firm is getting dissolved it means that the partnership has come to an end okay so it is very important that you realize all your assets okay so in order to realize the assets we know that goodwill is an asset and all the assets will be realized on the debit side therefore here in this particular question the answer is answer number 3 that is debit side of realization account okay Moving on to our second question that is in which condition a partnership firm is deemed to be dissolved it means in which of the following conditions a partnership firm is said to be dissolved okay the options are on the admission of a partner second is retirement of a partner third is expiry of the period of partnership and d is on loss in partnership now students we know that in admission and retirement there is no dissolving of the partnership firm okay or the partnership and the last option that is d on loss in partnership it means that if you are incurring a certain amount of loss in the partnership firm it doesn't mean that you will the firm is deemed to be dissolved okay so the right answer here is on the expiry of the period of partnership so it means that if for example if three partners had come together with the aim of entering into a partnership agreement and starting a, their own partnership firm maybe for example for a period of 5 years so if the partnership firm has completed 5 years then maybe after fifth year they may think of dissolving it okay so here the right answer is c that is on expiry of the period of partnership next is moving on to the third court can make an order to dissolve the firm when some partners has become fully made or the partnership deed is fully followed continued future profits are expected and firm is running in the legal business so from all the above options we can see that b c and d they are always right okay it means that the partnership firm has to be followed in that particular order okay like for example b it says that partnership deed is fully followed so it is a good thing that if all the partners are following all the contents that are mentioned in the partnership deed next is continued future profits are expected it means you are expecting profits in the near future and the last is firm is running a legal business so all these three options are absolutely right so the wrong one among this is some partners has become fully made so it means that if one partner among all the partners is incapable of performing his duties it means he cannot make decisions wisely or in simple words he has become fully made then the court can intervene and give an order in order to dissolve a particular firm so here the right answer is first okay moving on to the fourth one on dissolution of a firm the realization account is debited with first all assets b or liabilities c cash received and d any asset taken over by the partner okay first of all we have to know that if there is any asset which is taken over by any partner we will record it on the credit side of realization account okay and if there is any partner who takes over liability from the firm then it will be recorded on the debit side okay so here it says that the realization account is debited with what so here the answer is all the assets are debited okay so the correct answer is all the assets they have to be realized and they are written on the debit side okay we start with two sundry assets and on the credit side by sundry liabilities okay so the answer is answer a Moving forward to the next one on dissolution of a firm out of the proceeds received from the sale of asset will be paid first of all to whom the partners capital partners loan partners additional capital or outside creditors okay so this question says that when a firm is dissolved okay so out of the proceeds it means out of the profit that we have earned by selling the assets 
whom will we pay first so the answer here is creditors okay it is very important students that you remember that the third party that is the creditors have to be paid first okay so here the answer is outside creditors that is answer number d so students let's start with the sixth one the sixth one says that in the event of dissolution of a firm the provision for doubtful debts is transferred to realization account partners capital account sundry debtors account and none of the above so students we know that whenever in a problem we are given reserve for doubtful debt rdd so which side do we record it we record it on the credit side okay that is by sundry liabilities okay under that we record it so we record it in which account we record it in the realization account therefore here the answer is a okay moving forward to the next one that is on dissolution the final balance of capital accounts are transferred to which account realization cash profit and loss and loan account to partners so students we know that the final balance that we get in the capital account okay we write it as to bank right so that amount we are supposed to write in the cash account if for example if you have got an amount on the debit side of partners capital account so where will you record it in the cash account you will record it on the credit side that is the opposite entry okay similarly if you get an amount on the credit side in the partners capital account then the same amount will be recorded on the debit side in the cash account okay so here the answer is b cash account okay Moving on to the eighth on dissolution, the balance of profit and loss account appearing on the asset side of a balance sheet is transferred to which of the following accounts? Realization account debit side, realization account credit side, partners capital debit side, and partners capital credit side. So, students, first of all, whenever we have profit and loss account on the asset side, where will we record it? We will record it on the debit side of partners capital account. Okay, whenever profit and loss account is given. or whenever it appears in the balance sheet it will not come in the realization account it will only come in the partners capital account so when you have partners capital account on the asset side in the balance sheet then you will record it on the debit side of partners capital account similarly when you have partners capital account on the debit side of balance sheet then you will record the same on the credit side of partners capital account therefore here the answer is on the debit side of partners capital account that is c okay Moving on to the next one the responsibility of paying the realization expenses was taken by a partner so which of the following account will be credited so now the realization expenses now realization expenses or dissolution expenses are the same so these are the expenses which are involved while you want to dissolve your partnership firm you basically incur certain expenses so all these expenses are clubbed under one head that is dissolution expenses okay So the question says that if there is a partner who says that the partner will pay the realization expenses so in such a case which of the following account will be credited so here the account that will be credited will be the capital account of the partner why because the partner is paying for it right whenever any partner pays for anything that particular account will be come into picture so here the answer is capital account of the partner okay moving on to the next one Profit or loss on realization account is transferred to profit and loss account, capital account, balance sheet, none of the above. So this answer we know that it is transferred to the capital account of all the partners. Okay. Moving on to the next, that is the eleventh one on taking responsibility of payment of a liability of rupees one lakh by a partner. The account that will be credited will be which of the following? Now students here we have to see that a liability is paid by the partner so what i said is whenever any partner pays any liability we record it on the debit side of realization account so when we record it on the debit side of realization account then where it will be credited it will be the opposite entry so in partners capital account it will be credited okay so here our answer is capital account it is asked which the account which will be credited so the account which will be credited will be capital account if it would be debited then it would be realization account okay then next is on dissolution when a partner takes over an unrecorded asset it is debited to which account okay so now we know that whenever any partner takes any asset okay we write it on the credit side of realization account okay but here it's asked which account will be debited if it would be credited it would be realization account now it is debited so the opposite entry is in partners capital account so here our answer is partners capital account next is on dissolution the partners loan is transferred to which of the following accounts okay 
द ऑप्शन आर पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट रियलाइजेशन पार्टनर्स लोन एंड रिवेल्युएशन सो यो वेन ड्यूरिंग द डिजोल्यूशन द पार्टनर्स लोन इज ट्रांसफर टू द पार्टनर्स लोन अकाउंट एंड नो वेर एल्स इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड ओनली इन द पार्टनर्स लोन अकाउंट so moving on to a uh, 14th one it says that sundry creditors amounting to rupees 8000 they were paid at a discount of 5% the realization account will be debited by which of the following amount okay so students here it's given 8000 so we need to calculate 5% on 8000 so when you calculate 5% on 8000 it comes to 400 rupees so this 400 has to be deducted from 8000 So when you deduct four hundred from eight thousand, it comes to seven thousand six hundred. Therefore, your answer is B. That is seven thousand six hundred. Okay. So whenever it's given a discount, it means it will be deducted from the amount that you have paid. Okay. So the total amount of creditors was eight thousand, but you have to pay by giving a discount of five percent. Therefore, it will always be less than eight thousand. Okay. Moving forward to the next one, there was an unrecorded asset of rupees two thousand, okay, which was taken over by partner at rupees fifteen hundred. So the partner's capital account will be debited by which amount? So students, we have to remember that the amount at which the partner takes the particular asset, we have to record it at that amount, okay. Like in this example, the price or the amount of the asset was two thousand, but the partner took it for one thousand five hundred. So we have to record it at one thousand five hundred. We do not have to record it at two thousand, or we do not have to record it at five hundred, like the difference between two thousand and one thousand five hundred. The amount at which the partner takes over the asset, we have to record it at that amount. Okay, so here the answer is B. That is one thousand five hundred. Next is on dissolution of a firm, the unrecorded furniture of value of rupees five thousand was taken over by a partner at rupees four thousand three hundred. So which account will be credited and by how much amount? Okay. So students, first of all, we should know that an asset was taken over. Okay. So when asset is taken over, we record it on the credit side of realization account. Okay. Now the next thing that we have to calculate is the amount. So as I said in the previous question also that the amount at which it is taken has to be recorded. So though the value of the furniture is five thousand, but it was taken over at four thousand three hundred. So here the answer is fourth. That is realization account by forty three thousand. Moving on to the next one. On firm's dissolution, a partner undertook the firm's creditor at rupees seventeen thousand. So in this case, the amount will be credited to which of the following accounts? So students, we have to remember that liabilities are uh, whenever a partner takes over liability, where we record it, we record it on the debit side of realization account. Okay. So here it's asked where it will be credited. So what will be the opposite of realization? Like in realization account, when we are recording it on the debit side, so it will come on the credit side of which account of partner's capital account. Therefore, here the correct answer is D. That is partner's capital account. Okay. So the next one is the eighteenth one. On dissolution of a firm, a partner took over the investments of rupees fifteen thousand at rupees nineteen thousand. By how much amount the realization account will be credited? So as I said earlier, that the amount at which the partner has taken over the asset, we have to record that amount. So according to that, the answer will be nineteen thousand. Okay, because this is the amount at which he has taken over the particular asset. So moving forward to the nineteenth question, the modes by which a firm can be dissolved, or the ways through which a firm can be dissolved, the uh, options are all the options by mutual agreement, by compulsory dissolution, and by notice. So all the three options are correct. Therefore, the first answer is right. That is A. All the options. Moving on to the next one, that is the twentieth one. New ratio is not to be calculated on the following. Admission, retirement, death, or dissolution. So, students, we know that while preparing admission, retirement, and that we have to calculate the new ratio. But for dissolution, we do not need so. Therefore, here the right answer is dissolution of partnership. That is D. Let's start with the twenty-first question. At the time of dissolution of a firm, if goodwill appears in the balance sheet, it is transferred to which of the following accounts? So we have to remember, students. Whenever goodwill appears in the balance sheet, it will be always transferred to realization account. So here the answer is realization account. Okay. Moving forward, settlement of accounts in case of dissolution of a partnership firm is dealt with which section of the Partnership Act of 1932? It means which section of the Partnership Act of 1932 says about the settlement of accounts in case of dissolution? So here the answer is section number forty-eight. 
you do not need to know in detail about it just remember the section number okay next is cash balance shown in the balance sheet is shown on the dissolution of a firm in which account so we know that cash account we always write it in the cash account like to balance brought down okay we record the cash balance in the cash account so the answer is b okay moving forward to the next one on dissolution of a firm bank overdraft is transferred to which account so we know that bank overdraft is a liability so we know that all the liabilities where it will be transferred to realization account okay so as a sundry liability of the business the bank overdraft is a liability of the firm and hence it has to be transferred to the realization account at the time of dissolution and has to be paid as the third party liability so your answer is realization okay and the last one is unrecorded liabilities when paid are shown in which of the following account so if there is any liability which is unrecorded so where will we record it debit side of realization account debit side of bank account credit side of realization account and credit side of bank account so here the answer is debit side of realization account okay so students these were the top 25 important mcqs according to me it may not be necessary that you'll get questions from only this 25 mcqs so these were important according to me so if you want to score really well then please have a thorough knowledge about dissolution through your textbooks read your textbooks so that you get information understand your problems very well because when you know how to solve dissolution then this becomes very easy and if there are some of you who do not have much time or somebody who are looking for very quick answers then you can go through my videos so that you can get a clear idea about how mcqs will appear in the paper so i wish all of you all those who have their exams approaching in the upcoming weeks a very all the best hope you all answer like really well so this was all for today's video if you all liked my video then please like share and subscribe and if there are any difficulties there are any queries or any feedbacks or also suggestions then please put it down in the comment section so that i can improvise myself okay thank you have a good day